Welcome to our lecture online. A lot of mistakes are made when we don't pay special attention to the order of operations. When we have the operations mixed, such as multiplication, division, addition, subtraction, exponents, and then even parentheses and signs, things can get pretty complicated. And coming up with the correct answer when we either simplify expressions or work through some operations really, only, really depends on whether or not we follow the rules very diligently. And what do we mean by following the rules diligently? Well, there's a certain order in which we should do these things. For example, the first thing we should always do is simplify inside the parentheses from the inside out. In other words, if there are parentheses, work out what's inside the parentheses first before we do anything with it. And if there's nested parentheses, parentheses inside parentheses inside more parentheses, then we work from the inside outward. We only work out what's inside the inside parentheses first and then slowly work our way outward to the out outer parentheses. The next thing we do is take care of the exponents. If there's multiplications, divisions, and exponents, do the exponents first before you do anything else. After that, multiplication and division from left to right. For example, if there's more than one multiplication or division or a mixture of multiplication and division, we do the one on the left side before we do the one on the right side. So we work from left to right when we take prioritization in which multiplications and which divisions to do first. And finally, after we've taken care of the parentheses, and then we did the exponents next, and then with all the multiplications and divisions next, finally we're able to add and subtract whatever's left over. And again, we work from the left to the right. Some simple examples up there. We have 4 times 5 divided by 10 equals. So notice that multiplications and divisions are at the same level. Since they're equal in priority, we must work from the left to the right. So we first take 4 times 5, which is 20, and divide by 10. So we have 4 times 5, which is 20, divided by 10, which is equal to 2. That's the proper way to do it. Next, what we do is, on the next ex exercise, we have a subtraction and an, and an addition. And again, they have equal priority, and therefore we work from the left to the right. So we first go 4 minus 3, and then we add 5 to that. So 4 minus 3 is 1, and then we add 5 to that, which gives us a 6. We shouldn't do the one on the right first, because if we do 3 plus 5, that gives us 8. And 4 minus 8 gives us a negative 4, and that's a completely different value. So definitely, it is important to work from the left to the right. And then if we have a mixture of subtraction and a multiplication, notice we should do the multiplication first before we do the subtraction. So 24 minus 3 times 6, which is 18, and 24 minus 18, which is equal to 6. We should not first subtract the 3 from the 24, and then multiply that result by 6, because we'll get a complete different result and it'll be a wrong result. So notice our next exercise is a little bit more complicated. We have parentheses, we have brackets, we have exponents, multiplication, addition, and subtraction. So how do we deal with that? The rule says, first we simplify what's inside the parentheses, so we must work out what's inside here and what's inside there and leave everything else alone. So let's take that equal sign and move it over here. So we, we, we repeat everything that's on the board and then we work out what's inside the parentheses first. So 2 times, so we have 2 plus 3 squared. So inside the parentheses we have an exponent and we have an addition. The exponent must come first. So first we take 3 to the second power which is 9. So we write this as 2 plus 9. We leave everything else the same. Minus 4 times 8 times 2 which is 16 and we have a closing bracket. So that's the first step. Next, we still need to simplify what's inside here. So we get this is equal to 2 times 2 plus 9 is 11. So we have 11 minus 4 times 16. So notice here inside the brackets, we have simply the number 11 minus 4 times 16. Notice we can write it like this. We can take the parentheses away and write this as 2 times 11 minus 4 times 16. We cannot multiply anything times 2 yet because we have to simplify what's inside the brackets first. And we have subtraction and multiplication. The multiplication must come first. So this is equal to 2 times 11 minus 4 times 16, 
which is 64. We're still not done with the brackets because we need to simplify what's inside first before we can multiply times 2. So this would be equal to 2 times. 11 minus 64 is a minus 53. Now we have 2 times a minus 53 that we can work out. This is equal to minus 106. And that is the final answer of this expression, the simplified form of the expression. So if someone gives you something like this and they want you to simplify it, again, start with what's inside the parentheses first, simplify that as much as possible. Then what's next, we do the multiplication before we do the subtraction. And then finally, we can multiply this times what's inside the brackets. So we simplify what's inside the brackets before we multiply that final result times 2 to get minus 106. And that is how we're done when we're dealing with order of operations. Very, very important. So do it exactly according to these rules or you will get the wrong answer. That's how it's done.